Hello everyone, my name is Carl Van Wick. My colleague Joe Falco and I are from the National Institute of Standards and Technology and colleagues Mark Cullison and Kevin Kelly are from the Trinity College Dublin. We will be presenting our work entitled Comparative Peg and Hole Testing of a Force-Based Manipulation Controlled Robotic Hand at ICRA 2018. Force-based manipulation control strategies are evolving as a primary mechanism in robotics for performing the fine manipulation tasks typical within manufacturing assembly. The ability to systematically compare robot system performance and quantify true advancement in fine manipulation is of utmost importance. Accordingly, our objectives were threefold. First, we created a peg and hole test method with associated performance metrics and a systematic data analysis strategy for performing benchmarking. The parameters of the physical test were selected from data regarding human abilities in performing insertions, and the artifacts themselves can be 3D printed. Second, we applied a recently developed manipulation controller to a 16 degree of freedom robotic hand with six axis force torque transducers at the fingertips. The manipulation controller is responsible for controlling the pose of an object by controlling the contact forces for every contacting finger. Finally, we exemplified the performance benchmarking technique by comparing two approaches for robotic insertions. One uses the robotic hand in a stiff arm system and the other uses a stiff gripper in a compliant arm system. The insertion strategy for the system on the left starts with the hand tilting the peg and prodding the peg against the hole until a particular guiding force signature is found. Exploiting this force signature allows the system to guide the initial alignment of the peg with the hole. After initial alignment, the arm and the hand coordinate to continually align the peg with the hole while minimizing contact forces and error in the orientation of the peg. The insertion strategy for the system on the right involves engaging a planar search routine that slides the peg across the surface surrounding the hole. In parallel, the arm ensures a constant contact force between the peg and the surface. By chance, the peg and the hole will eventually align and the downward force will ensure a drop of the peg into the hole. Analyses reveal that the unconventional hand system can perform at and sometimes above the level of the gripper system in the developed peg and hole scenario. Moreover, the hand's active control of the peg's full Cartesian pose reduces the positional error sensitivity and minimizes exerted insertion forces, highlighting the strategy's potential for fine manipulation tasks. Results indicate that robotic arms equipped with highly articulated and sensorized robotic hands can provide a truly reliable solution path for performing peg and hold tasks.